<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Snows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows and I'm back with another Let's Compare video. Tonight I play the game Final Blow on the Commodore 64, the Atari ST, the Commodore Amiga and the Sega Mega Drive. But uh, this game is called James Buster Knockout Boxing on the uh, Mega Drive. And I start with the Commodore 64. And I'll enter the league. No idea what it is. Yeah, I'm Killer Ken. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. And they look quite similar. They also look quite similar. I guess it was well, well, it was the eighties. And there weren't uh, too many different clothes around. And the fighters are really, really big for an 8-bit system. But that's about all the positive I can say about this game. Animation is yeah, a little choppy. But I would say that it could be okay for the Commodore 64. It's an 8-bit system, but yeah. But the game is really, really boring. And you can uh, select how long a round is and how many rounds a fight lasts. And I only have three rounds with one minute each round to finish my opponent. So it won't be easy. But so far it looks like I'm winning. Yeah, graphics is not bad for the Commodore 64, but the sound effects, yeah, I already mentioned that I don't like the SID as a sound chip, I only like it as a music chip, so the sound effects could also be in a space shooter or almost anything, any game on the Commodore 64. Yeah, and I won. And who do I have to fight next? 
And the good uh, thing about the game is, it uh, doesn't have to uh, load. You load it up uh, once and uh, it's done. So, uh, no loading times. <coughs> Yeah, I really have to seek something positive about this game. And I guess this fighter is harder than the first one. And uh, the noise you heard here in the background is my Amiga uh, demoing exactly the same game. Come on. Hey. And I don't think I'll knock him out. Not in this round. Okay, there's a third round, so... Hey! I can knock him out, not he can knock me out. And yeah, the computer fighter intelligence is not very high. I'm doing nothing more than keeping the button pressed and pushing the joystick up. A brain dead monkey could do that. And I won again. Great. And no, I will not have another go on the Commodore 64. I switch to the Atari ST now. Okay, back with the Atari ST version. And I take the leak again. And again, I'm Killer Kenny. <clears throat> and the loading times are quite fast, but this is again from a menu disc. This time, uh, a menu disc from uh, Debug, because the non-menu disc version I, I had did not work, and this is not much more fun than the Commodore 64 version. At least the graphics looks nicer. It's not better animated. Yeah, and they even implemented halfway decent scrolling. 
Also gehen wir sind Better. That wasn't a very long break. And on the 16-bit systems, at least implement some, some break sequence so the fighters sit down. Even if it gets skipped 99 times, 99 percent of the times, I expect something like that from a 16-bit game, and I think I'm going to lose. Yeah, I did lose. Okay, next game. And I think the flashing is uh, yeah, data that's buffered somewhere in the memory to uh, shorten the loading times. It feels even crappier on a 16-bit machine than on the Commodore 64, even though it probably isn't. Graphics are halfway decent. Sounds are not as generic as on the Commodore 64. But again, I think it's a little bit harder, but do I really care? No, not really. Even the speech is clear and understandable. Yeah, we really try to find something positive. <sighs> yeah, boxing games on on the home computers are not very good. I found one on the Super Nintendo. And it should also be available on the Genesis, but I didn't get it uh, to run on my uh, Mega Drive. I've forgotten the name, but that was actually a little bit of fun. This one again isn't, but yeah, I have to play the Amiga version anyways. And of course, ah, where's my Killer Kenny? I choose Killer Kenny again. And at least the loading times are quite bearable.
and the sound is much improved, but the game isn't. Yeah, but the sound is is really an improvement. Yeah, and I survived the first round. But don't ask me why and how. I guess there are only four moves you can do. Come on. You call yourself Killer Kenny? Okay, he was saved by the bell. Maybe I can actually beat him. Looks at least promising. Yes, he's down again, and he doesn't stand up again. Wow, I won. Awesome. So I have to play it even longer. Okay, Kid Steve. Yeah, loading times are really quite bearable. But I really don't like the static background. There should be some animation on a 16-bit system. Okay, that's an easy opponent, I think. <laughs> At least he's easier than than the first one. And he's going to be saved by the bell again. And I guess he won't get up again. No, he won't. At least not 
before the referee counts to 10. And I guess I've played enough of the Amiga version, so let's finally go to the Mega Drive. Okay, back with the Mega Drive version. I choose one player, one player, three rounds, level normal. That's different from the uh, other versions. Yeah, but the fighters are the same. Where's my killer Kenny? No killer Kenny. Yeah, then I'm Dynamite Joe. And yeah, the background is not aesthetic. So the game is more aesthetic. But it's the same silly button mashing. I think it benefits a little bit from having more buttons on the. And I'm really. <laughs> I'm losing big. Wow, that was fast. And the sound is very tinny. So, yeah, I would say <laughs> I prefer the graphics of the uh, Mega Drive version. That combined with the sound uh, of the Amiga version. And I think the control on the Mega Drive version is also better. The yeah, sound and control of the uh, Mega Drive version combined uh, yeah. sound and graphics from the Mega Drive version combined with uh, I'm stupid graphics and control from the Mega Drive version combined with the sound from the Amiga version and yeah combine that with a better game and it would be fun Sound is really, really weak. And I have heard better sound effects on, on the Mega Drive already, so yeah. It's really not a good game, I think. Yeah, I'm getting a lit, little more. Shit, come on. I'm get, getting a little bit more used to the controls, I want to say. Yeah, and my opponent is really clever. Took him about 10 seconds. To realize that he was beating the air. Hey! Yeah, lost again. I don't like the game on any system. Uh, most playable, probably the Mega Drive version. Or is it the least unplayable? Yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.